Our top story this hour, Parliament Speaker and former President of Maldives, Mohamed Nasheed, has been injured in a terrorist attack near his residence. According to reports, Islamic State has taken responsibility for the attack on Mohamed Nasheed. Now, an explosive was set on blue bike near Nasheed's residence. He was outside with bodyguards on his way to his car when the explosive went off. Maldives police has said the former president has sustained injuries and is currently receiving treatment. Officials of Maldives police are investigating the area. Three of his bodyguards and a UK national have also sustained injuries. Two close family members have informed that Nasheed was talking and was responsive before being treated under anesthesia at the hospital. Now, with multiple injuries, he's currently being treated by a multi-speciality medical team. According to sources, Nasheed has sustained many superficial wounds and a deep cut on his arm. His vital signs are good as of now and there seems to be no serious injury to his internal organs. President Ibrahim Mohammad Soli, who is a close ally of Nasheed, has said an investigation into the explosion is underway. Soli visited the hospital in Malé, where the country's former president was being treated. In the aftermath of the attack, President Mohammad Soli is holding an emergency special sitting with members of the National Security Council as well. Foreign Minister Abdullah Shahid strongly condemned the attack on a Speaker of Parliament. He said in a tweet, and I'm quoting at this point, cowardly attacks like these have no place in our society. My thoughts and prayers are with Nasheed and others injured in this attack as well as their families. Now, deeply concerned at the attack, Indian MEA S.J. Shankar said that Mohammed Nasheed will never be intimidated. Nasheed became Maldives' first democratically elected president in 2008. He has remained an influential figure since leaving office in 2012. He is president of the governing party and after returning from a period of exile, has served as parliament speaker since 2019. The archipelago has been known in the past for political unrest as well as Islamist militant violence. And now for more on this, Vion's principal diplomatic correspondent Sidhan Sibol is joining us live from New Delhi. Sidhan, thank you for joining us. A shocking incident, really. What more do we know about this? Well, Haim, it has been a dramatic last 12 hours for Maldives. In fact, many of the officials, journalists have woken all night when it comes to this development. There was a midnight special session by the Maldives Parliament. Remember, he was the Speaker of the Maldives Parliament. And the Maldives Parliament condemned the terror attack. It is, of course, uh, officially described as a terror attack by the Maldives government. There was a meeting of the president with the officials and also addressed by the Maldives president uh, uh, today morning uh, in the Vias, uh, in which he told about the situation. He talked about what is his present situation of uh, the speaker of uh, the Maldives parliament, Mohammed Nasheed, but also gave details on investigation. Well, now an Australian federal police team will be arriving in Maldives on Saturday and they will be investigating the entire incident. We know that local media reports have uh, said that Islamic State is responsible for uh, this incident in which uh, his bodyguards, three of his bodyguards and a UK national uh, tourist was also uh, injured and also we know the worry when it mm. comes to the Islamic State. In fact, uh, Maldives uh, speaker has been uh, uh, someone who has been in regular touch in terms of uh, engagement with Vion as well. He's mm. spoken to Vion many times. His last interview with Vion, uh, he uh, uh, talked about the worries regarding Islamic State, saying mm. uh, that India and Maldives have been continuously in touch with each other when it comes to the issue of terrorism. That's right, Siddhant. And as I mentioned earlier, the archipelago has been known in the past for political unrest and Islamic militant violence as well. So what can we expect now going forward? We know the investigation is underway. Well, uh, previously there have been instances of Islamic State claiming attacks. In fact, there was one in 2020 
uh, as well but it was not uh, at this scale or this level uh, this is for the first time that the incident has taken place at this uh, level of course uh, the authority are still to confirm that uh, this was an uh, islamic state uh, terror attack or not because it's a claim made uh, by uh, the grouping but largely uh, if we look at uh, the worry about radicalization in maldives this has been a constant worry in fact when it comes to south asia the largest number of uh, uh, any nationality who have gone to Syria to be part of the Islamic State are from Maldives. Mm. That, of course, has been a worrisome factor. Uh, and we know that Sri Lanka faced its own uh, uh, terror attacks when it comes to Islamic State. Uh, uh, the 2019 terror attack, uh, the Easter bombings, and now this incident happening. So the worry over Islamic State for India and for the region remains, especially after this uh, incident. Because remember, Nash Nash he is just not an, another politician. He is someone who is known internationally. Mm. He is known as a friend of India. He has been the president. He has been very um, playing an important role in uh, Maldives politics. And of course, uh, his comments when it comes to Islamic State, when it comes to China, he has been an anti. Uh, he has been very uh, uh, vocal about uh, the. The uh, developments China has been doing when it comes to the debt crisis, especially in his own country. So his comments regarding uh, China, anti uh, comments regarding China, is something that mm. also has been catching the global headlines. Right, Siddhant. Thank you so much for joining us with all those details. We will, of course, come back to you as and when we have more. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.